So you all remember we recently reviewed the Vaxi mouse, the NP01, and I just wasn't a fan of it. Not that it was a bad mouse, I mean, it was a fantastic mouse, the quality and everything, right? But I didn't like it because of that shape, it was just weird. I, I just didn't know how to grip it, you know? I kept on going different uh, spots with it, you know? I said I felt like that mouse was designed or shaped for someone's preferred hand or grip right there. Sure, it's gonna work out for other people, but again, I think it's just limited, because again, it was just a different, unique type of shape. Awesome mouse, but again, it didn't work out for me at all. But their most recent release right here, the Outset AX, I think is gonna be the complete opposite. I think it's gonna be universal for a lot of people, a great shape and everything. And again, I really think this shape is gonna bring back some flashbacks of an old Zowie mouse that a lot of us are familiar with. But first, a word from our sponsor. And our sponsor is the Techni in his stinking cozy merch. No, not my Mr. Rogers sweater right here, but the sweet t-shirt. And I now have all of my merch posted right on Teespring so it can ship worldwide. It's linked right to every video and my website. You can go right on there and click merch and it'll pull you right up to it. I got tons of designs, stinking cozy with gears, some nice stinking cozy without gears, just straight to the point right there. And then again, this sweet WASD little splatter design. I also have some new designs coming up and everything. I actually just recently lowered the prices on all of them to again, probably about the lowest I could right there, just to make it more accessible and available for everyone out there. So again, make sure to go scoop up some of the sweet stinking cozy Techni merch. All right, so let's kick it off with the dimensions of the Outset AX right here. This is clear as day in Ergo Mouse, and it is a plump mouse right here. This mouse definitely fills out the hand. It is a palm grip mouse. But before we get into that, talking about my use and gripping it, what mouse right now, looking at this, are you thinking of? Right out the gate, clear as day, Zowie EC2, almost to a T. Minor differences right here, which we are gonna talk about. But again, just to kinda sum this up and give you a great idea, so we're gonna be on the same page through this review. If you use the EC2, you're gonna be right at home with this. All right, so before I dive too deep and lose myself talking about my time with it and then the dimensions, again, talking about the EC2 and everything, I wanna go and talk about the specs, the build, and again, performance of this mouse. Number one, starting with the build, this thing is stinking solid. No creaking, no flexing, no rattle, no nothing. Absolutely solid top to bottom. Now the coating on the back, kind of this matte coating does attract a lot of fingerprints, but when you come up to the front one and two right there, PBT feeling, very nice, a little weird to get used to at first, but after a while, very, very nice. Also take a look how nice and recessed that scroll wheel is. I stink and love it. Still, you get that Zowie sound, which you hear in a second, but I love how low and recessed it is. Side buttons, perfect position. Stick out nice and matching, really decipher them. Flipping the mouse over, PTFE feet, 3389 sensor, DPI adjustment, polling rate, and then click latency. I never adjusted, I just left it out of this, set my DPI and got on with my game and it was absolutely spot on, no performance issues or anything. Now talking about the cable, it does shoot out quite a bit in the front so you don't get that initial drag, but the cable is a heavy, stinking, duty cable. It's a lofty one here, kind of extra fi ish if you've ever used one of those, you know? So definitely you're gonna have to slap this guy in a bungee. Once you get in a bungee, you're pretty good because again, it's a bigger mouse, but again, the cable, it's a thick one. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about my time using the outset mouse right here. And again, as I stated with the dimensions, quite similar, very similar to the Zowie EC with slight differences right there, but the differences make a dramatic difference. As crazy as it sounds, right? I'm a, again, a big EC fan. A lot of you know I used to palm grip as my main. Now I claw and relaxed claw, but again, I can still dabble with that palm and feel right at home. Again, the outset, clear as day, is a glove. You put your hand on it, it's gonna engulf it. That is what it is. And talking about that right there, with the EC, again, you can palm this guy, but you can still pull it into like that claw right there and still have plenty of room to adjust around with it. And what I wanna show you first right here is the tail end of both of these mice. Take a look at the outset, how it goes back here, bam, and then drops off. So it's raised up a little bit right there, right? The EC, sloops all the way down, almost down to the bottom of your surface there. So whenever you take both of these, again with the EC, you kind of have it down there and it's not really locked into your hand. You feel it back, you almost gotta pull it back to sit into your palm. Outset, set it down there, bam, instantly in the back of your palm. 
instantly. And that also goes to the front right here. You can take a look at the EC. It's set a little bit lower and the outset is just a pinch taller right there. So again, when you combine all of that, the tail end and then the front end, again, that's the probably the most dramatic differences comparing the two. But again, with it raised up, think of it, there we go. Let's look at it that. Look at the EC or the outset as a lifted EC2 like a raised one, you know what I mean? That's exactly what it is. Because again, it's just a little bit higher than the EC2 and bam, it sits into your palm. Now there are some other slight differences. Again, scroll wheel being a little bit recessed in. The side buttons, clear as they are different. I can't stand the side buttons on the EC2. They are just mushy. I, I, I can't stand them. I do not like them on the EC. These over here are incredibly crispy. Now, as far as me gaming with the outset, I played decent. Depending how I played. I always state this, like a lot of people say, hey, how big's your hand? I always talk about what game do you play and how do you play that game? Me playing a lot of Call of Duty, I like getting fast paced and flipping around a lot, you know what I mean? With the outset, filling out my hand, every shot was a hold shot, you know? I like being able to have the option to, again, be in my claw, pull it back, and then lock that shot. Every single shot was locked in and held right there. And you might set, be hearing like, oh, hey, it's locked in, that's good. But no, because whenever I tried to flip to the next one or the next one, Again, I almost had to move my whole arm, and it's crazy as this is gonna sound, you know. I just I just felt the strain having to flick my entire arm with this big guy in there, rather than being able to pull it up into my fingertips there. And when I pulled it into my fingertips, I still got that uh, that hump in the back, which still be locked into my palm. But now with me saying that, that's not a bad thing at all. Again, it's a personal preference thing. Heck, with any mouse shape, you know, if you would have talked to me like mid last year about this, this would have been probably my main, hands down, you know what I mean? But now, again, with me not palming, it's hard for me to main something this girthy, you know? It's more or less, this is what I use for work now, you know what I mean? Something like that. Again, with the EC, I can kind of dabble around with it a little bit more. But again, this is, again, if you want something that fills out your hand, think death adder and telemouse, something that's really part of your hand when you put your hand on it, that's what you're going to get with the outset right here. This thing engulfs your hand. All right, so I want to show you something really cool. And I didn't find out about this until after I started filming this review today, after all of my testing and everything. And it's just awesome. I don't usually don't re read a lot of promo material or a lot of website specs, you know, unless I need some details, you know. But this is really cool. So I was, I was just on here looking at dimensions of the mouse. And I found out they got this product description. You go to outset. AX mouse comparison list. And it's so cool when you click on this or heck any of those other mouse mice if you're interested in that, but we'll stick with the EC2 because that's that's clear as day what we have here. And they really compare it up to each different thing. As you can see right here, it talks about the differences of size, where the hump is, the back tail end, uh, the front end and stuff. And again, it's the stuff, the scroll wheel. This is the stuff I noticed whenever I was using it. Again, being you know, an EC2 previous main user. It's so cool that they break it down like this. I wish more companies did this with their mice, you know what I mean? Again, this is this is such a great reference. Again, where everything that they're telling you right here, it is to a T 100%. That is exactly what I noticed when I was using it as well. It, it was just so cool being able to test it, having these same ideas, coming to the website and seeing this and being able to verify it to a T. So awesome. All right, so all in all, the Vaxi Outset AX mouse right here. I stink and love this mouse, I really do. Coming in at 60 bucks, I feel like you're getting your money's worth. But again, like I stated, of course, shape is personal preference, and the best way to put it is if you've used the EC2, think about it as a lifted EC2. That is a T what you're getting right here, you know what I mean? And it's so awesome seeing lightweight mice come into more ergo, bigger mice, you know what I mean? And that's why people ask, hey man, why why don't you palm grip anymore? Well, it's because I test so many mice and all of them are, you know, these ambi, smaller, lower sitting, lightweight mice with holes in them. And it's me just testing so many of them, it just flowed into it. It's like, okay, well now this is what I'm comfortable with, you know what I mean? I think if we see more of this, I'll get comfortable with this and go right back, you know what I mean? So it's like, let's make a lightweight mouse, so let's make it as tiny and chintzy as we can. It's so awesome seeing such a quality, durable, thick product like this and still being lightweight. This thing's awesome, it really is. So anyways, thank you so much for stopping by watching my review on the Vaxi Outset AX mouse right here. Please let me know what you think about it down below. Is it too big? Like, do you think this is too chunky of a mouse right here? Or are you, again, right there with me? Like, all right, finally we're getting some nice big herbal mice in the lightweight space. Please let me know down in the comments. But again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos and go pick up some of that Techni merch.